first one. Let's continue. So, dear student, how do we call the very first sentence of our paper? Uh, introduction. Okay, that's on the introduction, that's right. We find it on the introductory paragraph, intro, okay. You can look at your, how is it called, the very, very first not the body sentence. Right? Not the topic sentence, but yeah. it's the, uh, Le, it starts with a, eh. <laughs> like Captain. Oh, the hook. Eh, the that's hair. it, right, the hook. And we want to remind you guys, I want to remind you guys that the hook is like the Hawaiian cousin of the very last sentence of our paper, which is called Clo Closer. Closer. That is the closer. Last time in class, we went over, okay, some introductory strategies. And the hook and the closer are very similar in the sense that this is the only part in your paragraph that you will address directly the reader. You, don't you think so? You want to challenge your reader, okay? So when we are talking about the concluding paragraphs, all right, um, different strategies, but always uh, remember that it's like the final punch of your essay. So the hook, you want to attract the reader's attention, you want to be catchy, you want to provoke maybe your reader, it's like the beginning of like the first chapter of a book that you are reading on Amazon and you want to buy it. And if the first pages are boring, I'm not going to buy it. It's not like in the old times they told me, oh, they gave me a book or, you know, go to the library. I don't even read. I get it. it has got a nice title. And then I read it. Oh, I bought it already. But nowadays that they, it's available, I'm not going to buy it if it's boring. If I'm watching a movie on Netflix and the beginning is boring, guess what? I'm not going to keep on watching the movie. I'm not. So it's something that has to be catchy. And our closer has to be memorable. It has to be something that I remember. That I'm going, it's like the coffee. If you like coffee, I love coffee. You like your, your cappuccino. Or you like your espresso, double espresso. I go to the restaurant and I'm waiting for my coffee or my brownie. Or it's that last day. Everything is perfect in the restaurant and then the coffee is so bad. I'm going to remember that coffee. It's like on a movie. The movie is perfect, excellent, and then they are running out of ideas. So they need to make a second part. And the ending is terrible. What happens? Everybody talks about the bad ending, right? So that's why both of them, both our hook and our closer won't be catching, all right? So I'm reading here some strategies about the conclusion all in all, not only about the closer, the whole conclusion. So they say should you restate your thesis uh, and main points, but you can add further insight. Further insight doesn't mean that you are going to, out of the blue, bring a totally new idea because it's closing, you wanna, right? And another thing I could say about that, closer is like the final punch that, uh, that you have there. You may want to get everything. One of the strategies that we talked about is like when you echo the introduction. Let's say that in your introduction you were like talking about Henry Ford. So in your conclusion, you might go back into Henry Ford or uh, an anecdote. So you can finish that anecdote in your conclusion. That could be like coming back everything into like a full circle. All right, challenging the reader, looking to the future, posing questions, and why not? Why don't you combine all of them? So today in class, we're going to improve your closers. The rest, the conclusion it themselves, I was pretty satisfied with all of them, okay? 
uh, but we want to add a catch here closer, okay? We'll do that in a minute. So let's finish this. Here, what do we have? Please, dear student, how do we call this? Very good. Let's put argumentative thesis statement. And now we go with the body paragraph, supporting paragraphs. So, this. How do we call this? Topic sentence one. Very good. Topic sentence one. And then we have three details. We have details by means of? Okay, good. Logic. Experience. And something we have read on the experts, maybe knowledge. Logic, experience, and knowledge, three details. This is topic sentence two, three details. Topic sentence three, three details. Do you need to add on the details part? One that is like breaking down your topic sentence, logic I'm explaining, another experience and another knowledge. No, no need, okay? Uh, now we are going to go over the conclusions. I was creating our document and we are going to improve our closer.